watching this sick shit. This is sickening. Hey, past Matt. So this is a filler video. This is just pure shite coming at you from a YouTube video. So if you don't want to watch this, just click away. Um, but yeah, basically today one of my friends from work gave me a whole bunch of Adventure Time toys because she knew I liked Adventure Time and she was having like a clear out because she's moving. And yeah, basically I've ended up in the possession of loads of like random McDonald's toys from, like from a couple years ago. And in the spirit of a uh, fairly well-known YouTuber, I'm going to steal his entire format and just, just do a video uh, where I like go through the toys, I guess, and talk about them. I don't know, it's, it's not very highbrow stuff, but here we are. Screw it. But yeah. Apparently she got them from like a car boot sale or something, so they might be a bit scummy, but uh, who cares. First off, we have Marceline. She looks pretty good. She's got some like weird gloss on her hair. Oh, there's a bit of bit of dust, bit of scum. That's always good. Love a bit of scum on my toys. And yeah, I think the whole MO with these toys is you could like decapitate them. Because, you know, kids want that in their toys nowadays. But yeah, I guess it's, it's kind of alright. I mean, it's got that Adventure Time kind of look to it. The body's kind of a bit shit, if you just look at it by itself. I kind of, I might do this, try and figure out which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to chuck. And at the moment, I'm not sure. Marceline's a big character, but I'm not massively impressed with this model. It's just a bit... Eh. Up next. Finn, this one looks pretty good. He's got, he's got little arms. Look, see, the body's much better on this one. Look at him. And you can pull his head off. Oh, what a great toy. It's just classic. Classic Finn, really. He just he just stands by himself. I like him. He can he can stay. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him for a little collection. I put him on display or something. That'd be nice. All right, then we got Ice King with some weird guff on him. But yeah, he's got arms as well. I think I'm noticing a trend here. The ones with like proper like arms that have been painted are like a decent. But yeah, he's got a bit of beard overhang. That's nice. This is a pretty good one as well. I like that. And there's like oh, there's all sorts of shit in the crown. Oh dear. But yeah, I like the Ice King model. I think that's pretty cool. He shall stay as well. It's magic, man. So yeah, this one looks pretty good. He's got a little, little hat. It's okay. The body, again, is pretty pretty shit. But, I don't know. The magic man head, I'm enjoying. Because I think the whole point with these is you, you're meant to, like, remove the heads and put on one and be like, oh, he has a different different shirt now. What, how wild is that? Like, it'd be cool if the bodies weren't utter wank, but they are. Anyway, I kind of like magic man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say he can stay. I do like him. He's one of my favourite characters. Or I suppose he's, he's normal man in, 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 the, in the cartoon now. He's just, he's lost his magic. He's just a guy. Or oh, Gunter looks a bit, bit yellow and there's all sorts of scuffy shit on him. Oh dear. I don't know. It's, it's a bit out of proportion, you know. These guys kind of work because it's a bit fun. With, with Gunter it looks a bit, bit bad. I want to say, I want to say throw him. He can go. Then we got Lemon Grab. He's a pretty cool character. This is a pretty basic model, but you don't really need much for Lemon Grab because he's literally just a lemon. There's, there's all like there's like a thin layer of like scum on all of these. Like I don't, I suppose it's just dust and stuff. But like you can feel it when you touch it, and it's a bit, it's a bit dirty. I want to say, I want to say Lemon Grab's in the chuck pile. He's a bit too bland. He's a bit too plain for my liking. Even though he's one of my favorite characters. Oh. <laughs> this is Ricardio the Heart Guy. His face looks so fucking weird. Well, I mean, it does in the cartoon, but, like, still. He doesn't look like that. Don't know about this one. It's a bit creepy. Don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna say Chuck. So, it looks like they're going for, like, some really weird, like, not well-known characters. Like, this is, like, Ring Princess or something? Like, in Engagement Ring Princess? I don't... I can't remember. They're going for some really obscure characters, which is kind of cool. Like, I mean, because Magic Man's fairly obscure. I didn't expect him to just literally do everyone. Yeah, she's pretty well made. I don't know if, like, she's a big enough character for me to really keep. I mean, she's been in, like, four episodes, probably. Not enough for me to be like, yes. I'm gonna have to chuck Engagement Ring Princess, I think. Alright, so this is upsetting me, because Bimo is one of my favourite characters. The model's pretty good. Like, you've got the buttons, you got, you know, all the, all the, all the things. He's got little arms. Even even some, some little legs and stuff. Just, there's all this weird shit on the face. It's all been scratched off. I think it makes it a bit of a no-go for me. I think I might have to say chuck it to Bimo, despite the fact it's a pretty, fairly decent model. So yeah, sorry buddy. Hmm. All right, then we got Jake, another big hitter. Again, this is a pretty standard model. Like, you've got his ears, you've got his little arms, and the, the sort of classic dog thing. What do you call that? It's not the nose, it's like the flaps. He's got his doggy flaps. That sounds wrong. I reckon Jake's definitely a keeper, especially this one. You can't have Finn without Jake. So there he stays. All right, then we have Lady Rainicorn, who looks kind of fucking stupid she looks like a shoe the whole thing with her is she's got a massive rainbow body and they didn't even do it rainbow it's not even long they should have a, should have had like a massive one so she can just 
She looks a bit like a whale. So I want to say Chuck. <laughs> Alright, we got the Lich, who looks kind of dumb. Like, at least they did something cool with the body and stuff. Like, there's a lot of detail on this one. Like, with the horns and the little crown. They even put a thing on the back, but... Look at his face. I don't know, it just looks weird, man. I don't want this guy washing me while I'm, like, sitting at my desk or whatever. Like, it's, it's just not good. This is not good. I'm getting rid of this. Chuck. And then we have our favourite Satanist, Peppermint Butler. I actually quite like this one. It's kind of I, I think the minimalist minimalist ones I quite like. Like I don't know. It's just it's just a cool little design. You got like the, the red and the white. It's just, it's just it's all you need, you know. I might keep him. He's an, he's an alright one. Then we have Jake again, but this time pulling a face. I guess he's like thinking or something. I mean, this is in a bit better condition than the other one, but I just can't get behind the face. It looks like he's squeezing out like a particularly rough shit. I reckon this one's a, this one's a no go for sure. Alright, so I guess this is Shelby, but it just doesn't work like I mean you got the shell but from the front it just looks like two pieces of cardboard with some ears might have to say Chuck for you buddy sorry and you got Billy Finn's favorite hero there's actually quite a lot of uh, detail on the face that I like here like it does look like the character you got his receding hairline that's great but yeah I don't know again the body's pretty plain like it's got some like very minimal detail but I don't know I dig the actual the actual face of that quite a lot so I might keep that all right so we got cinnamon bun which kind of works like it's a pretty decent design I guess but like the whole thing with cinnamon bun is literally like he's round you know because I suppose they had to put a body on it it's, it's just wrong doesn't remind me enough of the character for me to keep so I think I'm gonna gonna say chuck that back at it again with the obscure princesses this is like B princess I think yeah there's some like wings there I mean it's kind of plain to be honest like there's not really much in it for me and I don't really care about B princess like there's probably like three avid beef princess fans out there who would absolutely love this McDonald's toy but other than that nah Lumpy Space Princess. Alright, there's there's a whole bunch of shit on her. Oh dear. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really feeling this one. It's a bit of a weird shape as well. Because again, they've had to kind of wreck on it so they could fit a body on it. And uh, do the whole head swap thing, which kind of is lame. Getting chucked. Alright, then we have Wildberry Princess. She's got some... A little bit of guff. Quite like the, the design of this one actually. Like Again, the head's pretty cool. It's got this like, nice little definition with the legs and the body and stuff. Like, it looks... Pretty neat. Again, they've kind of had to like cut some corners to get that body in there so we could head swap it. But I actually quite like this one. Plus, I actually know which princess this is like fairly well because she's, she's appeared in quite a few of them. I'm gonna keep this one, you know. It's a pretty cool one. I'll say, yeah. Then we have Banana Guard. Again, it seems pretty plain. Like I suppose they coloured in the, the the little booties, but other than that, it's not anything too special. But it does kind of keep the shape. Like you see that and go, yes, that is that is a Banana Guard. Quite obviously. So I suppose the body can kind of play into that a bit more because it's a banana shape as opposed to like a perfect circle or something. But yeah. I don't know. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to say yeah. Alright, we've got another Marceline one. She's like seen in this one and there's a ponytail, I guess. Again, I'm not a massive fan. Like it just seems very plain. Like it's all just this weird black glossy stuff and then just a green body. Like it's not, it doesn't have as much character as all the other ones, you know. I'm like, I want to say chuck this one. Alright, we got that like buff muffin dude. Cupcake. Muff Mr. Cupcake, I can't remember his name. But yeah, again, I kind of, I kind of like this one. It kind of works because in the in the show he's got like that sort of weird little cupcake body, and then the whole top that sort of looks almost removable in itself. This fella's all right. I might keep him for now. Like he looks, looks okay. Hot Dog Princess, another one of the princesses. Like I actually know fairly well. But yeah, again, this is done pretty well. Like it sort of works because she's like a literal hot dog shape. I might keep her. I think she's pretty cool. And then last one in the bag is. Flame Princess, Finn's big old, big old crush. Yeah, this this one's this one's okay. Again, it's kind of the body's sort of plain, but I guess they can kind of get away with it. You know what? The the scratches and stuff are only on the back, and if it's facing full all the time, I'm never gonna see him. I want to say I keep for that one. But yeah, that's kind of all of them. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch missing from this like collection. Like, there's no Princess Bubblegums that have cropped up, and I think there's like there's meant to be like a Nepta and a Finn in his pajamas one. There's a Tree Trunks one, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's been this video. It's been a bit of a mess, but screw it. This is all filler. This is all filler and no killer, like the polar opposite of that one Sum 41 album. Anyway, this has been a massive waste of your time if you've made it through to the end. But uh, see you tomorrow. Pass me out.